Toysius here, and I am back in again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today we are checking out their brand new Fortnite figure, the Plastic Patroller, a little army man type guy. You know those old army men used to play with? Maybe if you're good at the grocery store, your parents buy a little baggie of them, get 20 of them, and just have fun all day. These were great. Here's the barcode if you want to find him in the store. He should be shipping relatively soon, especially from Amazon, and should show up in stores in the spring as well. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarland Toys Fortnite 7-inch scale, the Plastic Patroller. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And here's the Plastic Patrol out of his packaging. Put a little aged film on this, you know, kind of like World War II-ish. Just for fun. Go with it. Anyways, this guy stands and displays really nicely. He holds his weapon really nice, the gun. This is every bit, to me, like... Toy Story army men like Arlie army going, you know, hut, 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 going down the, the stairs trying to see what Andy is getting. This just harkens back to playing with the hundreds of little army men I would set up in the backyard, you know, throw them in the mud, what have you. These were fun. So it kind of brings back all that. And plus, you get a little <laughs> wiener on a stick, right? <laughs> this is perfect. Backyard barbecue time, right? It's a little Hot dog, bratwurst, wiener dog, whatever, covered in mustard, and it's got a nice prong sticking through it. A little mustard on that side, too. That's a nice little touch, but everything is painted nicely. Even little folds of the hot dog casing are there. I love that. that they did a great job. It's heavy, too, just FYI. Little backpack, black bling action for you. This is actually painted really nice as well. Can't complain, although... While it is nicely painted, I do wish it was more in his army colors. Now, I know this is probably something from the game, but it's not something I really want to put on his back because he is colored perfectly. So if the backpack was more inclined, the bottom of his feet are awesome, by the way. That is very cool. I wish there was a separate piece to kind of mimic the old-fashioned, you know, their feet are connected sort of deal. But he holds his weapon perfectly. This is how he will be displayed. Couldn't ask for anything more and of course he is loaded up with a ton of articulation nice weathering on the gun nice green color that they've chosen for this guy very army man green while also having some splotches of like mud or brown or rot you know plastic kind of decaying it's a little bit of a reuse from prior mcfarland toys releases he's got the hole in the back for the back bling he's just really Nicely done. I like this. He's got great articulation on him every which way. Everything that if you have collected McFarlane Toys Fortnite figures, it's the same exact articulation. Double jointed this, moves at the waist, twists, especially for say like an army man type character like this guy. You can get him into all the poses that you're pretty much looking for. Or if you wanted to army build these as well, they can go with a number of different stuff, you know, off the top of my head. It kind of reminds me of something Toy Man would build Superman. And lo and behold, McFarlane does do Superman figures, of course. But just be careful around the knees. I will say that they get a little stuck. And again, I love the feet. If only he'd come. It's, it's not something from the game. But if you could have mimicked him having like the full on board for the feet, that would have been cool. He does hold the wiener stick. <laughs> But it's incredibly heavy, so it will see some droopage. That's not the right word. Anyways, the back bling goes on nicely. He holds it nicely. It's a little bit heavy for him. If you want to see scaling-wise, he'll look good with the previous McFarlane Toys Big Mouth figure. I did find him in stores recently. You can find him at Target. This is amazing. It just reminds me of... Ghostbuster, Venom, things of that nature. Like I said, there's multiple ways to display for these Fortnites. He's taller than the average Marvel Legends figure, but if you want to put him with DC Multiverse, he will go well. This is a great looking figure. I'm not going to say that necessarily you absolutely need this figure, but I do feel like the articulations there, the way he holds his gun, the way he displays... It brings back a lot of memories. It brings back a lot of fun of just little plastic army men 
And I think it, he is extremely well done, well painted. The face, the shoes, board that reminds me of one thick mold and they painted the armament and that's... That's all you got. The wiener on the stick is a bonus. That's funny. The back bling is okay. I just wish that it was painted more in his colors because I think a little backpack action, that would be cool. Army build the heck out of him or display him if this is your type of thing. Curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Fortnite. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have some fun with your toys. Never forget that. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank you.